Hi everybody, it's Dawn from Crafting on the Green. I hope you're well. Um, today I wanted to show you how to make this really cute card um, using Sweet as a Peach and Watercolour Shapes. Um, if you don't have watercolour shapes, I recommend it because it's great for doing a nice background. Um, and Sweet as a Peach, well, it's just a really, really fun stamp set, um, which also comes with dies. So yeah, I thought I'd just show you how to make this nice quick card uh, using both of those. So, what we need is some Coastal Cabana. This is my mat. I've got a basic white layer and I've got my, my card. So, first of all, I'm going to take my basic white. I'm going to use Coastal Cabana ink. And I'm going to use a nice big circle that comes with the set. So, we're just going to... Make sure it's loaded up and then I'm going to try and line it up so it's roughly central. If you've got grid paper, it's quite handy for things like this so it does help you get it a bit straighter. Okay, so that's the first step done. I'm going to pop that over to one side just to dry for a second. And the next step I'm going to um, stamp and die cut out some of the leaves and little peaches for this one. Um, I mean, it's a gorgeous set. You can do the big peaches. It's got some nice greetings on there. Um, let's try. Okay, so they're the ones I want to go for. They stamp in a set of three, but when you die cut them out, they do split up. So let's get that one. And that one. Okay, so I've got another piece here of basic white. I'm going to use pear pizzazz for the leaves. I love pear pizzazz. It's such a nice, really happy kind of green. So we'll just pop that on there. And you'll see it has some gaps in between and that's where you would place the, the peaches. And then I'm going to use Calypso Coral for the peaches themselves. It's a lovely bright, sort of orangey peachy colour. Make sure I've actually got enough ink on there. And I'll pop this down. Okay, nice and bright. So I'm just going to give those a second to dry before I die cut them. And while I do, I'm just going to st start to stick my card together. So I've got some Tombow. Pop that onto our basic white layer that we've stamped our watercolour shape onto. And I'm going to stick that straight onto the Coastal Cabana mat. And then again, I'm going to stick this onto the card base. See how it's coming together so nice and quickly? And this is a great background to use for quite a lot of different things. Um, you know, you, you could use it with flowers, you could use it with animals, you've got all sorts of different uh, ideas that you could use for that. Okay, now while that's drying, I'm going to bring this back in, get my dies. So you've got the peach dies, and in here you've got some large, you've got the large peach, the small peaches, you've got some flowers, uh, some even smaller flowers. So it's really quite cute. Um, yeah, it's a really quite a cute set, and you can have a really good play with it. Um, okay, so I've got the dies that I need. Let's get the die cutter. There we go. Open that one up. Okay. okay. So the good thing is with the, these dies as well, they'll also fit into the mini uh, die cutter if you have that. Okay, so I'm just going to line those up. You can use washi tape if you'd like, but generally, I don't find I need it, but you watch it, will go wonky now. <laughs> right, let's give that a good turn. Pop this out of the way. Okay. There we go. Oh, Self tangled. Okay, so we've got our leaves and our three peaches. 
and let's pop this out of the way. Um, bring back in the background. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick the leaves over just like that and then I'm going to pop the peaches on top. So I'm not going to glue every part of it down. Um, I don't really want it to splodge out everywhere so I'm just going to get the main parts. And I'm just going to pop that just like that. Okay. Right, next I'm going to use some dimensionals. So I've got my mini dimensionals here. Just quite liked giving the 3D effect when I was popping these on. <coughs> And I like to use tweezers, I find it a little bit easier to get the dimensionals off. <clears throat> right. So you can pop these wherever you want to really, but you'll see there's some gaps already there. <clears throat> so that's what I'm aiming for, just to cover the gaps. the colours work so well together they just I think they just look really nice and vibrant and bright it's lovely okay so next um, so we've got some different greetings on here on the card earlier I've done you're as sweet as a peach um, I think for this one I'm just going to do a happy birthday but they are lovely greetings you've got you're as sweet as a peach it's your day hello friend thanks for being as sweet as a peach you know, to a sweet friend. Um, yeah, it's, it's quite nice. <coughs> so I'm going to have happy birthday on this one. Um, I think I'm going to pop it about there. There we go. So I'm going to try and Keep it straight if I can. I'm terrible at going a bit wonky when I stamp. Well, that's not too bad. <laughs> um, yeah, it's uh, pretty much that. And because it's a birthday card, I think I'm going to add some bling to it as well. Um, because we like bling. So I've got my Take Your Pick tool. If you haven't got one of these, they're really good. You get some putty at the end of them. Um, and as you see, it just helps you pick up the gems. Um, and they're really easy just to pop straight down again. There we go. Um, the take pick also comes with a pointy end, a flat end, and you also get another interchangeable end. So you've got some little ball shapes here, which are handy for other crafts. Just so you know. <laughs> um, there we go. Let's get the bone folder. Now, as you see, we've got a very pretty card um, that can be used for any occasion. Um, and here's another one I did earlier using the Back on Your Feet set. So you see, it's, it's very easily interchangeable for any stamp set that you want to add on top. Um, but yeah, that's it for me. Um, I hope you enjoyed this nice quick card. Um, I love these sets, so I would recommend having a look at them. And yeah, if you haven't subscribed, please do. And if you have subscribed, please make sure that you ring the bell so that anything I post, we will be notified of. Uh, yeah, thanks very much for watching. Have a wonderful day.